Hey guys, what's up? It's David here, coming at you with another custom LEGO review. This time it's of my uh, semi-truck and box trailer. Now let's get into it. This is a pretty simple semi-truck, uh, three-axle. Um, it's got a three-axle box trailer as well. It's uh, European style. A lot of you guys wanted me to build an American style. I just don't have as much fun doing that. I'll do them one of these days, but I just the European style is fun. <laughs> We don't get them over here. Um, so let's pop that up. Let's let's take a look at the, the semi real quick. Ew. Now the box trailer is just nice and nice and simple. Um, spare tire underneath, jack stands, hitch. The rear axle is articulating so it can go over some stuff. Under ride guard in the back there. The very back of it has a lift gate. Come on. Come on. Hard to get my fingers in there. Okay. Lifts up, and you can see nothing! It's empty. <laughs> so there's nothing in there currently. Um, but it is a pretty, pretty nice looking box trailer. The top does come off, but as you saw, there's nothing in there. So, we'll just set that to the side and take a look at the semi now. The semi here is a pretty good looking rig. It's got a push bar on the front, kind of a two-piece nose, a lower piece, and then the cab sits on top of it. The cab does tilt forward ever so slightly, and you can see the engine and transmission in there. A uh, turbocharged diesel V8, most likely. It does have a nice uh, big light bar on the front there with some yellow fog lights, big tow mirrors, a um, air dam up at the front there. Single exhaust pipe on this one, hookups for the trailer. We got dual tanks here, and I think those tanks look pretty nice, nice and rounded. Single fill up on the tanks, just on the one side. There's a spare tire in the back, and then the fifth wheel attachment with the, uh, I believe it's a king pin. Um, just kind of the thing that you latch your trailer in with. <laughs> I uh, do have some lights on the back there, two tail lights, a reverse light, and a hazard light. Not a whole lot with this one. I uh, do have a little bit of color splashed in there with that nice light blue. And then the driver in there is just a nice normal looking feller. He's got a fairly nice seat there, but it's just, it's just simple. Whoop, oh, come on buddy. Lift the roof off. And it's really not that interesting in there. So not a whole lot going on with this one. But it's important to have this one because it's the little one. <laughs> this one would uh, tow probably about 60,000 pounds. Now let's take a look at the big one, or the bigger one. We'll pull this out of the way real quick. Hook it up. Pull that off to the side. Pull in this one. And we got quite the little piece of cargo on that one. It did, man, it don't even fit. <laughs> so this one here, you can see that it's a low boy trailer. We'll just pull the trailer off real quick and set it there. And the semi truck is still a tandem or a triple axle. Do you call them tandem or triple axles? Eh, I'm going to go with triple. Now this is a much beefier semi-truck here. We can tell that the length, the overall length, is considerably longer than with the little one. It does have a larger cab. This one could be a sleeper cab. Very small sleeper, but a sleeper cab nonetheless. It's got dual stacks. And just pull it up next to this one there. You can see just how much longer it is. It's got a it's got a full extra axle length on on the other one. So we'll pull the little guy out of the way there. So this one is a dark or not dark, just a regular green and white color scheme. Not supposed to be John Deere, but you can think that if you want to. Very similar design as the other one with the bull bar and the uh, high intensity lights there, but this one also does have extra lights on the roof does have the same air dam 
And the cabin is very similar. You just have that little extra bit of space in the back there. Now the driver in this one, once again, just a friendly looking fella. He's got his safety glasses on there. The cab also does tilt forward on this one, revealing the turbocharged V8 diesel and transmission back in there. This one is a dual pipe, so most are dual smokestack, so this one most likely is making more power than the other one. Uh, same, same size fuel tanks on this one, but it does have uh, two filler necks instead of just one. The spare tire there, and then the fifth wheel attachment, just like the other one, as well as the rear lights. So they're all very similar, they're all supposed to be the same manufacturer, but I wanted to do small, this one's medium, and then large, as we'll see in a little bit. So we'll pull the semi off to the side, we'll take a look at its cargo. Now you might recognize this tractor as a uh, tractor I've had on my channel before. Big old quad track. Um, doesn't really have a brand, you can think of it as a John Deere or as a, let's see, was the other one Massey Ferguson? Uh, I can't quite remember. Um, it's just there's a couple of different brands that do make tractors like this with the quad tracks and I just think they're really cool and it interpreted into Lego quite well. On the back we do have our little uh, lawnmower. I'm kind of figuring that, you know, if you spend the money on this giant quad track, uh, the manufacturer would probably be nice enough to throw in a free ride lawnmower with it. So, this is a uh, this is a heavy load, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. You can tell by just how much that nose flexes when you try to pick it up. It is low. This is a very low trailer. Um, it's not dragging the ground, but it's pretty darn close. <laughs> we did have to uh, put extensions on it. Two studs on either side to just fit the tractor on it. We have some marker lights telling how wide the load is for legal issues, front and back. Now, on the back, the way back, all the way back here, we do have some marker lights and uh, hazard lights up above there. This is a triple axle trailer for the uh, extra weight capacity. Now, the tractor really doesn't weigh a ton. I think the tractor weighs in at 65,000 pounds or something like that. So this truck is a little bit overkill at 90,000, but it looks awesome. So that's this one. Now let's move on to the biggest of them all. I'll pull this out of the way here real quick. And here's the big one. Now the big one, as you can see, is a four axle two front steering axles on this bad boy and what's it hauling it is hauling a windmill blade on a long technic trailer there four axles on that trailer to match the four axles on the truck now this one was a lot of fun to build it takes a lot of inspiration from the uh, windmill transport set from was that 2012 you guys will let me know in the comment section down below. We did indeed get that set, me and my brother, when we were young. And so that, this piece right here, that sticker, is from the original set. Uh, pretty much nothing else is, but um, did take a lot of inspiration from that. Now we'll take a look at the trailer here first. So we'll just pop that off of there. Now the trailer, like I said, is mostly Technic built. I wanted it to be strong, but I also wanted it to be low profile. Four axles on the back. And then we'll just swing it around real quick. So give you a view, a front view of that windmill blade. It's really nothing special, just looks like a windmill blade, and that's pretty much it. So pretty, pretty simple on the trailer here, honestly. Did do something a little bit different with the whoa, with the fifth wheel or the uh, trailer pin. That is an, a, a Technic axle instead of just the little um, little pins that they normally have. So it's a little bit beefier, a little bit stronger up there. This trailer does have a kick down. Let's see if I can actually get it to pull out. There you go. So it does stand up on its own. And really that's about it. Really not much to this trailer. So we'll pull that out of the way real quick. And we'll take a look at this truck. This truck is beautiful. 
this was a lot of fun to build right here. So this truck, as I said before, is a quad axle truck, dual front steering axles, and then just pretty much a regular back on this one. Uh, let's take you around it. So on the front, it is vastly different from the other trucks. It has a very high clearance, very industrial front bumper on this bad boy. You can see that there. The push bar is mounted up higher with high intensity fog lights on there. And then you have three more high intensity lights up on the top. Bring in, oh man, exhaust pipe fell off. Fiddle that back on there. Coming around the side, it is a red and white color scheme to pay homage to the original one, which was also red and white and gray and black. And, yeah, it's pretty much red and white. <laughs> the cab, as you can see, is a very high cab uh, compared to the other ones, which have a low cab on them. You can see that there. It's a very high cab. This one is going to be your cushiest out of all of them. Coming around back, we have uh, air filtration, air conditioner, heater, whatever you'd like to think of that. We have a very high air intake for this big old diesel motor. We have two mounted spare tires up here on top of these two storage bins, which contain nothing, but you could put, I mean, you put anything in there. Uh, coming down from there, it's pretty much the same as the other ones. This does tilt forward, but because of that big old push bar, it doesn't tilt forward. Um, underneath, you can see, I didn't show you guys the other ones, but these are single single tires in the front there. Um, got that from another YouTuber years ago, just years ago. It was like 10, 10 years or something. Um, it's just the slim tire on that Technic wheel with a motorcycle tire put around it. Really, really cool. Really good use of parts there. Um, been stealing that from him for a long time. I can't even remember who it was, um, but it's just, that was really cool that he did that. Uh, we do have hookups on the back here. Exhaust, single exhaust on this one. Dual looked a little bit overkill, but sometimes overkill is fun. So if you wanted that, you could put that on there. This one does have a larger fuel tank on the driver's side than passenger. So this one does have more capacity than the other trucks. Uh, same pretty much fifth wheel setup on there, same tail lights on there. Coming around to this side, fairly similar, just the exhaust pipe. Uh, taking a look at the interior, you can see it's nice and nice and cushy in there. Nice brown, probably leather seats, everything's nice quality materials. Steering wheel in there, still not a ton of space, but more than the other ones. So put the roof back on, and that'll do it for this video. Uh, let us know down in the comment section below which one of these do you like the best. We'll set these all up here, and there. Now you can see big to small. That's kind of cool. We will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.